In this video, we're going to get familiar with the document template editor. Unlike other document generation applications, they use a word processor like template editor. Document uses a block style drag and drop editor. This gives you the most control over your template's design and layout. Starting in the header, you'll see that we have the name of the template, the status of the template, and the changes. We have three tabs, design, test, and connect. Design is where we'll design the template. Test is where we'll test the variables and see what the data looks like. And connect gives you some helpful ways to connect your template to your data sources. All the way in the top right, we have our help center. That's just a link to the support site. And then we have an active status. When a template is active, it will remove the branded footer from the bottom of any documents that are created. So if you're testing your template or testing an integration, you'll want to keep your template inactive so that any documents that are created while you're testing don't count against your merge quota. They will have the branded footer on the bottom, but they won't count against your quota. If you're on the free plan, you'll get 15 free merges a month where you don't have the branded footer, and then anything over that will have the branded footer. Moving down, let's take a look at the designer. Starting from the left, you have your elements tab. This is the elements that you'll be able to drop into your template. There are two types of elements, content elements and layout elements. Layout elements allow you to structure the layout of your template. And as the name implies, content elements allow you to add content to your templates. We'll cover each of these elements in more detail in a later video. Next, you have the page tab. This allows you to control the format. So you have letter legal tabloid, a3 to A6, and you can set the template to be landscape and then also the margins for the entire document. So that's on each page what the margins are going to be. In the center here you have the canvas, and that's where you're going to do all the designing of your template. On the right hand side we have variables. Variables are the things that tell a document where in your template to place the data when creating a document. We'll cover variables in more depth in a later video. 